Five lessons down and just two more to go. Let's jump into lesson number six, how to add interactive apps to your website. In this lesson, I'll show you how to add a store, e-commerce, blogs, chat, and even a members area to your website. Let's take a look and jump into the lesson. Welcome to lesson six, adding interactive applications to your website. With Web Starts, you can add interactive applications to your website. In your dashboard, just click on any of the gray application panels and enable them. Once they're enabled, they'll be blue. So for example, this website has a store and a blog activated on it. And let me show you what those look like in the page editor. I go into the page editor and then I find the applications that I activated, for example, the blog and the store, and you can see that the pages are listed under their own subheading. Now, if I go into one of these pages, what I'll see is that in the center of each page will be the application widget. And around the application widget, we'll still have the footer and the header, and you'll still be able to drag the application widget around the page, but you won't be able to change any of the appearance inside the widget. Let me show you what this looks like with a couple of products added to the store so you get a better sense of how this works. And to launch that, all you need to do is click on store, click manage store, and it opens up the manage store modal. And from there, I can add my first product. So I'm just going to say, this is a shirt. I'm gonna call it a cotton shirt. And I'm going to quickly upload an image from my local computer, preferably a shirt image. If I have one handy, was working with a hoodie image the other day. Maybe I have that, yep, there we go. So I'm gonna upload that select it, click add image, and you can add multiple images to your product. And there's a whole nother video series on how to work with your store. So I'm not gonna cover everything in this video, but I'm just going to show you, generally speaking, how the widgets work. I'm gonna go ahead and add a second product just to give you another idea. Call this some um, shirt, cotton. Just give it the same name. This is just for demonstration purposes, so. It's nothing too serious. Let's see if I have a shirt here. Yep, got a black shirt. That's well, the back of the shirt, but you get the idea. So now I've added another shirt. I'm gonna give this one a price of $10 and I'm going to create that product. Now when I go to my page, I actually have a shirt featured here along with the title, the description and the price and somebody can add this to my cart. And when I click on the widget, I have a little settings cog and that enables me to do things like show categories, product search, and product sorting options. But I can't actually get in to manipulate any of these individual elements inside the widget itself. So that's the main thing that I want to show you. So I can put, for example, you know, a heading of text here that says, you know, custom t-shirts or best shirts or whatever I want it to say. And then I can just save those changes. So you manage those products by clicking on the store application right here, manage store. That's where you're gonna create all those products. Now similarly, the blog works the same way. The blog is a widget that's embedded on the page. You can double click here and then you can create your first post by clicking create new post. Give it a title. I'm just going to say that I wrote it and then I'm going to tell my story right here and then you can add an image if you want. I'm just gonna add an image from the image library. Just take any old image, pop it in there and then I can either save as draft or I can publish that. And then once I close that out, now you can see on my blog page, I have my blog widget displayed, and if I want to click on that, it'll drill down to the actual article or story, so that's all underneath the blog page on the, on the uh, menu. If you want to make a page, a members only page, you can do that as well. All you need to do is select any page of your website, and then you just click add. You go down to membership, and then you walk through the membership wizard. So you'll say, do you want this page to be accessible by members only? I'm gonna say yes. And then once they log in, where do I want them to go? I'm gonna say that I want them to go to the about page. And then I'm gonna say that I will automatically approve new members, but you can choose to manually do it. And that yes, I would like a membership login widget on this page. Now, let's 
kind of hard to see the membership login widget. You've got to change the color to black there, and then you can place that wherever you want it to appear. If you want it on the top of all the pages of your site, you'd place it into your header. When somebody signs up and you want to manage those members, you go back out to the dashboard. You go down to the site members area, and here's where you can add members manually and also approve those members if you have selected the option to manually approve them. And you can also do things like manage the uh, password and delete members and things like that all in the members area. Now going back out to the dashboard, there's another application I want to show you, which is chat. Once that's enabled, it launches its own browser window and then chat is turned on. You could turn off chat by toggling that to the off position. But once chat is on on your website, then you can click on the link to your site and you'll see a little chat bubble in the bottom right. And then people can chat live with you right on your website and you can manage the conversation from this back end. So that's a terrific interactive uh, application that you can add to your site to keep in good communication with your customers. Okay, so in this video, we covered a few of the big applications like store, blog, chat, and we also covered site members. Be sure to check out all of the applications that are featured not only on the dashboard, but also if you click on edit site and you go into the page editor, you can click on the apps link up at the top or apps tab. And there you can find things like Google Maps is a pretty fun app. You have your form builder, which we covered in lesson number three. And then you can also build slideshows and photo galleries, video galleries, guest books, really all kinds of things. So be sure to check out all of those apps. I just covered a few for this video to give you a rough idea of how they work. You're really moving along. You've already completed six lessons and there's just one more to go. In lesson number seven, I'll be showing you how to promote your website both online and offline. So let's get right into the lesson, lesson number seven, promoting your website.